the range. Hello. It's me, Waffles, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Kerbal Space Program's cinematic launch effects. This video was requested by Kuabo LP. There will be a link to his YouTube channel in the description, as well as a link to the Kerbal Space Program cinematic launch effects mod. Alright, so as you can see, I have a cinematic test rocket here. And it is made up of highly visible colors that can be seen from a long distance, which is what you want, because you want your rocket to be seen. So, now that we've built the rocket, we need to go launch it. So, let's go do that. Alright, now you need to know how to fly a rocket without the GUI on, because the... The goal of a cinematic launch video is to have it so that it looks more realistic than like a game. So you're going to have to have the HUD off. You turn the HUD off by pressing F2. But before you do that, you need to press alternate and F12 at the same time. And you need to go to cheat and make sure the unbreakable joints, no crash damage, ignore max temperature, and allow part clipping editors are checked. Because you're going to need those to make the best out of your cinematic launches. Then you go to physics and go to thermal. Make sure that everything is turned off and everything is dragged down to the lowest it can be. Because thermal things will make annoying things come up that will get in the way of making a cinematic launch. So then you press alternate F12 to close it. Make sure that all your staging is intact. Then bring up camera tools by clicking on it. The first thing we want to do is uh, set position with a click. We're going to set our camera right here. And then we press the home button. And that will bring us to the location or whatever button you have set to activate it. Mine is the home. So we're as close as to, to the ground as we can be. So now we exit that. And here comes the real, part, real fun part. All right, so now that everything is in order, we will begin the launch. Make sure the UI is off, and make sure that you have the highest possible frame rate with the highest possible quality, because you want it to look good. Don't be afraid to get your camera closer to the rocket. The closer to the rocket it is, the better the shot you will have. So we're going to put our camera somewhat closer to it. We're actually going to put it on top of the launch strut if I can. This is hard. I'd be very precise. All right, there. So now it looks like we're on top of the tower. Now let's begin. Hold on. Let me just make sure that everything is in order. Yep. All right, let's begin.
Now, as you can see here, this is about as close up as we're going to get to a rocket. This is like the best close up shot you can get right under it. So, let's begin. A few more things that might come in handy. First, you might want to download the cryogenic rockets, which all, um, there's going to be a link in the description to the pack for it, because I um, modified the package so that you can edit it in the vehicle assembly building so that you can preview the effects. Unlike when you download the original, you have to go through the config file edit them one by one. Well, I already did that for you. So the link for that is in the description. And it also includes the ice tanks, which makes ice fall off of the fuel tanks when you launch the rocket. There's also um, the engine light, which makes the rocket engines give off light, like it would in real life. Then it lights objects surrounding it, which makes it more realistic. And the link to that mod is also in the description. Now, you may want to enable camera shake in the main menu options, because that might make it a real, little bit more realistic. Other uh, than that, that's pretty much all there is for set launch positions. If you want to know about flyby or moving launch positions, you watch the next part of this video, which talks about um, mm, dynamic launch positions and flybys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.